growing like yellow roses on the wind. the significance of all of this. It wasn't too long ago that I told you that you would begin to see more and more pyramids, more and more obelisks, more and more triangles cropping up everywhere. And of course that has happened. And now you will begin to see more and more lions cropping up, lions rampant, lions lying. But let us go back to the gorge where the Lion King is rushing madly to rescue his son and is caught up in the stampede. The lion at this point represents the sun which dies at sunset. Osiris, who was killed by his brother Typhon, also called Set. Osiris represented the sun. The lion also represents Abel. He represents the sacrificed king. He represents John F. Kennedy, who was slain at the point where the sun was at the most high point in the temple of the sun in Dealey Plaza in the presence of an obelisk and a reflecting pool in the four corners. Of a architectural rendering similar to Stonehenge. Dealey Plaza shaped like the truncated pyramid with the capstone missing. The eye, indeed, is the underpass under the railroad overpass. All of these things have been portrayed and represented and foretold throughout the history of the world by every different people and every different religion. It is the old cosmology. The Lion King is trampled to death just about. His son escapes. And his son watches as the Lion King valiantly tries one last time to escape from the stampede. And as he is hanging by his claws, literally, from the edge of the gorge, his brother Scar knocks him off. Cain slays Abel. The sun sets. Osiris is killed by his brother Typhon, the august body <laughs> of the mystery. Have you ever heard a senator stand up and talk about this august body? Anyone who makes that statement represents the lineage in this story, if you believe it. Remember... I'm telling you the meaning of all this it does not necessarily mean that I believe it or that you should believe it. It's just what they believe. And if they believe it and they have the power, it will affect us, I can assure you. Back at the ranch, the kingdom is dying. All of the green trees die. All of the grass dies. The dark lion representing Cain, also representing the fisher king who is wounded between the thighs, has laid waste to the kingdom. What was his sin, ladies and gentlemen? His sin was the mixing of the races, according to these people. Remember, Walt Disney was a very famous Anglophile. It was many years before a black person was ever hired by Disneyland or any of Walt Disney's organizations or businesses. And the young Lion King 
sings a song about he cannot wait to become the king and set everything straight. And he goes back and there's a tremendous battle between the young king and Scar and the hyenas and the young Jewish lemur and the warthog and some other allies that showed up at the last moment. And there you see the fires raging, burning everywhere in Philadelphia. That's why you saw fire with the Symbionese Liberation Army when they were burned. That's why you saw fire during the Inquisition years as they burned their enemies at the stake. What is represented here is evil on all sides involved. The poor ignorant sheeple of the world who don't know what this means or how the battle is being raged or what it's all about are always the casualties. But the young lion wins. And when he wins, he marries his, the lioness that he fell in love with. And the trees sprout in the plain is lush with grass and all the animals are happy and have the food. And you can see they're all separated according to kind. They're no longer mixed. And the kingdom blossoms. The sun rises again and the new age is reborn as the old golden age returned to the earth. And is teaching the children that there is looming before them the dawn of a new age, a return to the golden age. For you are not part of the part power structure, and you are of no consequence to any of these people on either side. They care not whether you live or die or what your suffering is. They only care that they mount the throne of power. That they destroy all existing nations, all existing religions, and create a one-world totalitarian socialist government which they will rule. To you it is known as the beast. The number of the beast is 666, which represents all those initiates who have gone through the three degrees and six acts. The three degrees of the mysteries, the mystery religion of Babylon. The wars between the Vatican, between Scarlet, and between the beast. And they all agree that there will be a one world government. The only point of contention is who will sit upon the throne of the world. If you want to play their game and buy into their deceptions and help them achieve this, you will always be their slave no matter what side you are on and no matter who is the victor. And you will make their shoes and you will plow their fields and you will play their football games for their amusement. You will keep your mouth shut on certain subjects. You will do as you are told. Or you will just... The brainwashing of your children has been going on for quite some time. Right under your nose, and you don't even know it. And it's about time you learned it, and it's about time you do something about it. And understand this, the brainwashing is strong. It is strong. And it plays on the emotions. And it feels good. It is such a great deception that even the elect shall be deceived. Don't fall for it. 